Hello everybody, it's Ezra Time again here. Welcome back to another reaction videos and today we're gonna be reacting to the SM Final The Dream Within by Jameson 3D once again. Um so I gotta be honest, it's been a while since I watched the Dream Within, like a while actually. Um and I think I watched episode one to seven, obviously, and then we went uh I don't know how how long it is, but I I'm pretty sure it's been <coughs> Oh oh sorry guys, it's been pretty long I guess before uh, between episode 7 and episode 8 um, and this one is called the dream of tomorrow so I don't know if I can exactly remember every single of the plot because again it's been a long time but I don't know man I ho hopefully this series can when I see some of the characters I can actually like pinpoint like the moment that I can actually remember <laughs> uh, from the previous episode hopefully but we'll see we'll see what happens so uh, without further ado let's just start this episode shall we let's just begin see what happens <laughs> See if I remember or not. Yeah, 5k. I mean, this video was released several days ago, I think. He's probably going to expect us coming to oh, the yes. hall. Oh yes, Bonnie and Chica trying we to need kill a different plan. Or kill, you know. But yeah, the Dream Widow doesn't really have a bigger plot yet, I think. Um, I, think I it's got a, it. It's about Each of to, us will take a know. bench. I'll mm. take the left, and you take the right. Got it. Let's mm. do this. Classic move. That oh, doesn't sound good. Yeah, I mean, who is this night guard? Because all of them seems... All of them say that the night guard look familiar. Ah, uh, there's the Freddy, Freddy hat. Is that you? Yes, it's me, Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm not sure. I could have sworn that the night guard was here. Oh man, imagine so if where the, did he go? <laughs> imagine if the official movie as he goes not this sure. way. <laughs> the night guard is talking to the damatronic. Fully Let's get him when he comes out. Oh man. <sighs> And just like that, he was <laughs> free. I need to be more careful. I mean, yeah, not gonna work on Foxy, that's for sure. I'm not sure he knows about that, but we'll see. Hey, spring on me. Oh, Golden Freddy, you look, you look so golden. I just <laughs> not want to lie. say I'm sorry. I may not remember what happened, but I feel awful for what happened. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> Good. I just need some time to think. I understand. I'll just leave you alone for a while. You're not the only one who messed up Fredbird. Mm. Oh yeah, I think uh, Springtrap have, have, any... have a dream, Spring right? Mommy Gets into the past. Time, so I left. Mm. Did you see the night guard? No, I didn't. I didn't either. Freddy? Who is that you're talking to? I see that the others are alive as well. What are you talking about? And who are you? Forgive me. Oh you yeah, they never met Fredbear. Fred Forgot about that. I was the one on the stage before you replaced us. Oh, I'm sorry about that. No need. It was my fault for what happened to me. What? What happened? One story. I only will tell that I just... hurt someone that caused to be replaced. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. You can hang out with us, if you want. Really? I would love it too. Great. We can introduce you to Foxy while we're at it. That sounds good for me, I guess. Hey, Foxy. I would like you to meet Fredbird. He was the performer here before we took his place. Hello. Yeah, nice to meet ya. Be careful with the arcade machines, mate. <laughs> they are pretty rigged, if you ask me. Uh, okay. Speaking like a pirate. <laughs> I keep that Love it. In mind. He is just pissed off from that game. What was that? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Whatever, I'll just oh, take man. a break. Don't disturb me, will ya? Again, nice to see that none of them is actually at conflict. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen anytime soon. Not between them, but, you know. Good. I think between I them and the night guard. Everything is still normal as of now. Hmm. 
What are you planning, dude? Seriously, there's gotta be a reason why he chose this pizzeria, right? Yeah, and if I remember correctly, oh wait. Oh yeah, is he Shadow? F uh, sorry, is the Nightcar Shadow Freddy? Oh my God, he is. He is Shadow Freddy. Okay, now he's coming back <laughs> in my mind that yeah, we see. We see Shadow Freddy kind of transform into the Night Guard, and I remember questioning that. That is that actually the case? That Shadow Freddy is the Night Guard, but this is pretty much confirmed. It. Oh my god! Oh. Sweet dreams, Bonnie. Oh my god! What are you doing, man? Now even now I even got more question to be honest. Oh wow, is he is Bonnie now is the one who dreaming? Hey there is matter of crap. <laughs> what is this place? Wow, don't tell me this series also going to connect to the uh sample of the universe. Hmm. All right. I guess I'll go into the middle one. Oh, so just like Springtrap, right? So Springtrap got this dream because of um, Shadow Freddy. And this is the future, obviously, because we see, again, the toy animatronics. But why, why would he do that, though? What? Who are they? Hello? Do you have any idea where I am? Hmm, I mean the exact same place, dude. I, I mean... guess they can see me. Maybe because this is some kind of dream? Hmm. I mean, what the was that noise? I mean, the layout is the same. Um, just different animatronics. Oh, is he gonna see the the Whitner version of himself? There's Shadow Freddy. Yeah, he is. Hmm, I can't believe this. Toichika C, Shadow Freddy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, to be a f to be fair, if you see that happening in real life, you would do that too. <laughs> Either way, didn't expect him to be <laughs> to be this goofy in the end. Well, for Toichika. But um, yeah. So Matteo and Alex, Alex Neko Twelve. Okay, so co they collab with each other. So. Um, that was a really, really fine episode. I really like it. Um, I feel like there is just more question to be asked now, uh, since the story is now getting more and more like complicated in some way. Well, not exactly complicated, but oh, oh, oh man, sorry guys. <laughs> but you know, it seems like we, uh, we already got more some of the answer, right? Um, like the the night guard is actually Shadow Freddy. I mean. I think some some people probably already figured that out in episode seven, but in episode seven I was questioning that is Shadow Freddy is the night guard because that can be right, right, <laughs> you know? But apparently yeah, he was the he was the night guard all, all along for some reason, right? And the next question is gonna be like why would he do this, you know, you know, for what purpose, right? And yeah, I mean why would why would he transfer Bonnie to <laughs> my god sorry guys um <laughs> to the to you know to the past or like oh sorry to the future for bonnie and then for springtrap is to the past which 
uh, apparently there is some truth that needs to be discovered which is like I mean it's kind of back the question that if Shadow Freddy is going to become the villain now or maybe he's just like a good guy but but trying to like uh, make, make sure everything goes according to plan you know um, I mean he, he even said himself that everything is going according to plan so I guess there's that that's my answer <laughs> um, and it's like yeah I mean um, I think that's the the question left is that uh, where does Shadow Freddy come from? And what is his backstory, right? And then, <laughs> is he like a normal human before or something like that? Like, we don't even know, right? Um, and I think it's definitely um, interesting to make that the Night Guard is actually Shadow Freddy because, uh, because I, first of all, I didn't really expect that because that would, uh, that would be kind of weird if that was actually the case. But, well, that is the case. Shadow Freddy is the Night Guard. Uh, forget, for some reason, which I'm assuming... <laughs> Probably just to um, posing, obviously, for the pizzeria f for him to do the mission. But at the same time, it's just like, I don't know if he was actually that supernatural. Maybe he can do something else, you know, that doesn't need doesn't need him to posing as the night guard. But there's probably some, maybe there is some deeper reason behind it. But either way, it was really entertaining, by the way, to see Bonnie and Chica trying to get the night guard. And then the night guard just like, oh, Sarah Freddy, I guess. Just like wearing the mask, and then he just, and he just straight up lie. <laughs> um, that would be really cool though, if you, if you actually have to do that in the FNAF game, you know, especially FNAF two, obviously, <laughs> that you can talk with the animatronic and then lie to them, like, oh yeah, he goes to the bathroom, <laughs> just go fetch <laughs> something like that, right? Um, but yeah, either way, that was the the dream within season season one episode eight, the dream of tomorrow. Um, which I think that's that's ob obviously what it what it means for Bonnie's dream. Uh, he sees the future, and apparently there's some truth to be discovered. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess uh, we have to wait and see what what is Shadow Freddy's plan here. Is he actually the ultimate bad guy, or is just like again a good guy, but doesn't really, but can't really like intervene with the animatronic or like reveal himself to the animatronic for some reason because all of this animatronic definitely remembers the night guard or like. Or say that the night guard feel familiar, right? Um, again, we haven't fi figure it, figured it out why, and we still don't know why all of them wake up on the a different like different time, you know? Um, because I think Freddy wake up immediately after the night guard arrive, and then the other animatronic they didn't wake up actually, and they wake up in a really different uh, time, which is like, okay, I mean, is there a reason for that, <laughs> you know? Or it's just gonna be like that's just going to be the case for the series and then we never actually got uh or we never actually got a deeper meaning or a deeper answer for that i don't know either way i really enjoyed um having a fun time watching it um i guess we have to wait and see what happens in episode nine um we're gonna i think the story is gonna really really you know revealing now because previously just like you know <laughs> not really nothing much is happening in the previous episode uh, except until uh spring trap dream um, but now, like, we got Bonnie's dream, and then episode 9, I'm assuming we're gonna continuing his dream, and then before we, before he returned to the present, obviously. Um, and just, like, I don't know, I guess tell the puppet again, <laughs> and Fred Bear, for what ha was actually happening. Um, and I'm wondering if Shadow Freddy has other targets, you know, besides Springtrap and Bonnie. He probably did, but I guess I'm curious to see who is his next target, you know, because obviously we get to, s we're going you know we're going to see the the toy animatronics uh really soon you know and the fact that Tochika just sees shadow Freddy there i mean it sounds like the scene itself uh really looked like a comedy but i'm i'm really curious to see if that if that particular scene uh is going to play out in the future where Tochika actually remember that oh i see this guy shadow freddy which is super weird or something like that right um but i'm pretty sure it's gonna happen maybe who knows in the really really near future because i'm I'm assuming that we're going to spend a lot, uh, sorry, a lot of time in the, you know, with this original anima animatronics before we get to the toy animatronics, you know, as usual. But um, yeah. Anyway, guys, let me just let me know in the comment section below uh, what do you guys think about this episode right here. Again, sorry for the late <laughs> for reacting to this episode um, because again, there is just so many uh, FNAF series that I have to follow now. So bear with me, okay? <laughs> and um, yeah, again, guys, sorry with my nose. Oh my god, it's so annoying. <laughs> Um, again, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this episode right here. And if you guys want to watch the original uh, video, then I will leave a link in the description below as always. Um, make sure you guys check uh, Jameson through this channel. I will leave each channel's link also in the description below as always. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to Jameson 3D and show some support. And I guess my channel channel as well because 
um, he helped this uh, making this uh, series or episode. Um. So yeah, and um, if you guys enjoy my Russian video, then please leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, that ring that ring that notification bell, and share my videos out there. It really, it really helps the channel, guys. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess stay tuned for more uh, Matter Crowd Dare series. Um, and I think also as fan fan of Dark Tales, which is like I reacted to that trailer a long time ago, but I haven't watched the first episode. And I did I did promise to the creator that I will watch his episode. So I'm gonna be reacting to the FNAF Dark Tale first. Um, which I, I don't know if you guys still remember that it's been a while again, but I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Then, bye.